Hello everyone. <clears throat> Recently, during online racing, it came to my attention that some people are new to pitch strategy and uh, I wanted to make a short video how to prepare a few pitch strategies which should be enough to have for any occasion for uh, races, endurance races, or even a sprint races, which require a pit stop mm. or to be ready for eventual <clears throat> weather change. It's a bit loud. I'm going to... Okay, that should be a bit better. So, I have a few pit strategies already prepared. I go through them one by one and what it all means and how to read this. First one is splash and dash. It's, it should be self-explanatory for anyone who actually watches a real racing in TV or YouTube streams for series like IMSA or a World GT Challenge uh, or a World Endurance Challenge. Uh, the commentators use it quite often, this splash and dash name. Uh, what it is, is basically, uh, let me just uh, enter it. So you can see from the three bars above, the blue fuel, green tires, red damage, I'm only, I'm only having a, few, a little bit of time for a fuel, which means that I have really, it depends on the car, you need to set it up before a race, like maybe, maybe three laps worth of fuel. So let's say you're, <coughs> you're doing a long race, let's say two and a half, three, five hours, whatever it is. And um, and you miscalculated your fuel. You have maybe five, six laps left and you know that you don't have enough fuel to finish the race. What you want to do, you want to have a splash and dash ready, uh, just two, maybe three laps worth of fuel. You jump in quickly to a pit stop. As you can see, it's only four and a half second pit stop maybe four second pit stop plus of course driving through the pit lane they will just add a little bit of fuel so you can actually finish the race and hopefully hopefully stay on the place you were before entering the pit stop uh, another very important thing is tire pressure even if you don't change tires as i do here you still need to set the tire pressure so i haven't tested in in project cars too but I remember that from Project Cars 1. If you go to pit stop and you don't change your tires, but you have some kind of tire pressure set up here, your pits team will adjust your pressure tire to whatever is set up here. So if I left here two bars, I go to the pit stop, I came, I come out of the pit stop and suddenly my left front is overpressurized. So remember to always set it up even if you don't change the tires. Repair damage, I have none. That's just splash and dash, a quick in, quick out, few liters of fuel just to finish the race. Okay, I'm going to discard the motor and changes. Now I have this. Uh, a few pit strategies with funny names. What it means, one by one. First one is F, fuel. And it's either yes or no. The second one is tires. And again, no for no changing, yes for changing. And yes means slicks, W means wet. So tires, no, wet, slicks. <clears throat> the last part is repairs. Either I'm repairing something or F, stands for the full repairs as you can see most of my strategies are for no repairs i'm just uh, i just that's something i will adjust if something happens on the truck and i have to repair maybe my suspension or i have to repair my uh, my engine or aero whatever the only thing i'm missing here and i'm going to create a new strategy is for very long races like i did le mans uh, a few months back, the full 24 hours, and what I needed was uh, 
a repair for my brakes because they just deteriorated over the period of the very very long race and they, I had to repair them I think twice during the race maybe maybe once would be enough but I wanted to keep them at a good state through the whole of the race so I prepared a strategy where I will add the fuel I will change the tires Uh, for some reason there is no yes here so let's just type it manually here we go and I will set up the repair and I will put here that this is just for brakes Oh, there is uh, one too many spaces there. Here we go. So fuel, yes. Tire, yes. There will be slicks in this case. And repairs, brakes. So let's go to done. Let's create it. And let's do fuel and tire setup, right? So this is... We have to repair brakes only in a certain situations. Like in very, very long races, right? Let's say Le Mans. Let's say 24 hours of Spa, 24 hours of uh, Nürburgring, Nordschleife, such races. I don't think you would need to repair brakes or anything less than 12 hours. Uh, so, for such a long race, we always need a fuel tank of fuel. So, 75 liters is the maximum for LMP2 cars. It lasts our whole stint of around 45 minutes. We're changing the tires because why not to... Sometimes you can double stint, it depends on the truck, it depends on the tire compound. I'm going with slicks here, soft slicks for all, soft slicks, which means I'll be changing in every single stint. It doesn't add that much to the, to the time anyway. Uh, well, we'll see. Pressure. I want to keep it at certain level for this particular truck, I remember what it is from my testing. I'm just going to set it up to that. I think it's like that. I will double check it after, after it. So that's our fuel and tire strategy setup. Full tank, all tires changed to soft slicks, pressure set. Damage and repair. So this is particularly only for brakes, right? This is this was created just to repair brakes so we don't want to repair suspension we are under the assumption we won't damage it but we want to repair brakes and then we don't want to repair anything else again this is under the assumption we won't break we won't cause any accidents or anything like that we won't be in any incident we won't be involved in any incidents we won't have any gearbox engine or aero damage we will just repair brakes this is for a long endurance race where fixing brakes or replacing the brake parts is required. Here we go, we're saving that strategy and we have just added a new strategy to our list. i show you some of the strategy. This is uh, fuel, yes. So let's see, yeah, we have a uh, fuel. So <coughs> I'm going to drive a two and a half hours endurance race in LMP2 car on this truck. I did some calculation, this, this car consumes around 2.7 liters of fuel per lap and my calculations showed me that for a two and a half hour race, that's what it's going to be, with the times of around 1 minute 36, let's be conservative, it may change depending on the weather and so on and so on, we will do around 96 laps. On one fuel tank of 75 liters we can do around 27 laps so obviously I will have to refuel the car a few times to finish the race uh, so we can just set up it to a fuel fuel tank we will change the tires uh, actually no what I'm doing sorry 
this is just to refuel, but this one actually assumes we won't be changing tires, so this is just to refuel. Let's say we are on the hard compound tires, we don't need to change it, we can double stint them. I won't be changing them here. I still set up the pressure, as I said, you need to set up the pressure even if you don't change the tires. Repairs, no repairs. And we can save that strategy, and that pet strategy is ready for this evening race. Another one, this strategy. This strategy assumes we will refuel the car, and again, that will be a full tank of fuel. We will change all the tires, but we will change them to the wet tires, so I'm expecting some rain. Now, rain equals cold truck, the water cools down tires in addition to the weather conditions probably being at the low temperatures, so I'm going to put the tire pressure to the minimum to be able to rise the tire temperature and actually keep them in a good working condition. Uh, that's the minimum I can set up that was tested and that should work. Damage and repair, I'm not repairing my car, I'm going to save this so we have a wet strategy ready for uh, this evening race. Another one, changing, adding fuel, changing tires, no repairs. Again, I'm going to put to 75 liters. Here we go. I'm going to change all the tires. I'm going to match them to all these soft slicks. And pressures are already set. Is it safe? Yes. Damage, I'm not repairing the car. I'm saving this pit strategy. And I already know that this probably will be my default pit strategy for this race. So I'll be refueling the cars a few times during the pit stops. I'll be changing the tires and hopefully I won't have need to repair the car if I'm lucky to not to be involved in any accidents. I wasn't that lucky during the training yesterday. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we've got two more strategies here. This one is for refueling, changing tires, tires and repairs. Let's see what kind of repairs we have here. Repairs. We're repairing full, so this is set up to repair everything. I actually think we don't need to have the brakes. I don't think they break during the accidents. I mean, suspension does, gearbox, engine, they can. They also break because of the normal usage during the race. They are or definitely can be can be damaged. <coughs> going to fuel again. I'm going to put 75 liters. Change tires here. So slick pressures set. And the final one assumes that I won't be refueling but I will be changing and but I will be changing tires I'm not sure why they're not set uh, all yes uh, soft slicks and now this <coughs> can be changed to whatever we need and this Actually, I'm going to keep a slicks for now, and I will create another one in a second, and I will explain why. So let's keep this one. Damage, no repairs. And now, why would I need strategy like that? So let's say I had my last pit stop. Let's say I had my last pit stop in wet, raining conditions, right? Wet conditions, raining conditions. The weather is changing. Let's say I have... 10, slap, 10 laps left, which I can easily do within a stint on a fuel tank, I refuel at my last pit stop. So I put 75 liters in the last pit stop. This is my last stint, 10 laps till the end of the race. The weather changes, the truck's getting dry. I need to change the tires, but I don't need to take any more fuel. So why to waste the time on refueling the car? If I wanted to refill the car, take a look. At a certain point, the fuel will take more time than changing tires, right? So, I won't be refueling in a situation like that. I'll be just changing tires, setting the pressure, and off I, off I go. I'm, I'm ready to finish the race on the slick tires, on the dry track, hopefully keeping my positions and, um, and not losing too much time in the pit stop uh, in the process damage, no damage, I'm saving this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a counterpart strategy where I'll be 
I won't be refueling. I'll be changing the tires, but I'll be changing them in the wet. So that would be something like this strategy, but without refueling. So we did our last pit stop, 45 minutes till the end of the race. We have fuel, full fuel tank. We just need to change the tire because the weather is changing from really good one to the bad one. That, that starts raining really quickly. The truck's getting damp. There are puddles on the trucks. We need those wet tires, but we don't need to refuel. So let's just create just one additional uh, pit strategy, which will be fuel, no. There is one too many, yeah. You will know tires, yes, and repairs. No. There we go. That will be our new strategy. Fuel, we won't be refueling. Tires will be changing. That's a mistake because it's true. We will be. Where am I? Okay. It doesn't show me where my car cursor is, so it's really not hard to know. Wait, so if I add this one, I'll be one, two, okay? Because I want to put here W for wet. So fuel, no, tires, wet tires, repairs, no. Okay, we are done. I'm going to create it. I'm going to set it up. So I won't be refueling. Saving myself a lot of time. I'll be changing all tires match the compound and I'll be changing into wets and as previously with wets I'm going to reduce the pressure as much as I can here we go I won't be repairing the car here we go and I can save it <coughs> I'm probably missing one more strategy to be prepared for any kind of situations and um, what kind of strategy it could have been? It could have been... Changing the brakes in wet conditions, right? Adjusting the pressures during the race can be difficult, so it's better to have it ready. So let's just create the last one, which will be fuel. Yes, we will be refueling. Uh, we will be changing tires, but we will be changing the tires to wet. Okay. Um, and we will be we will be repairing brakes. Fuel yes, tires were repairing brakes, right? So that's the counterparts to repairing brakes under dry conditions. So uh, full refuel, change tires, yes, yes wet. Oh, that's a bit too much. Uh, no suspensions. Here we go. Save this strategy. So, now we actually have a strategy for an equation. We have Two wet strategies, one without repairs, without fuels. Actually, I think we have three. Yes, we have three wet strategies. The only thing I could do here is to now set them in certain order. Because <coughs> during the race, it may be actually hard to find the one we want. So my most used strategy will be this one. So why not to go there? and change this name a little bit. Oh, now I can see the cursor. Actually, I'm using the wheel to do the writing and everything. Let's just use the pad. The controller will be so much easier to use. There we go. So, I just put a number one there. Maybe with a little dot. And space. Ah, it deletes my repair. Okay, well, we can still do it. Can do it a bit differently. Um, just thinking how. Maybe if I get rid of the spaces here, I don't think I need them.
What am I doing? Yeah, that's that's good enough. Um, just it looks a bit cramped now, so maybe if I do it without it does. Yeah, I think that may look better. There we go. Fuel yes, tires yes, repair snow. Oh, my tips are full. Cannot have any more. That is interesting. But I'm just ch changing the name. Why it doesn't allow me to change the name? I don't want to create a new one. Let's try again. Let's do it easy way. Just do the one. Try to do space and save it. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't allow us to do it. You would need to delete something, which I won't be doing. I'm just going to keep them as they are. Uh, <coughs> you can always set it up on the long straight. It shouldn't take that much time. Let's see how would it work now uh, during the race. So what we have here, we have our all sausages ready. We're picking fuel yes, tires yes, repairs no, right? Let's do start. Hit limiter. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of that pit. Remember, take it steady on these tires when you build some heat into them. They push too soon. So we now are in the racing conditions, well, practice conditions, but we are in the car. Very cold tires. It's better to be careful on these first laps. Closing to the pit straight, the main straight of this race track, and let's say the conditions are changing. We want to prepare for a wet tire change, right? So we can enable our race strategy menu. We can go to select strategy and now just look for wet. For well, the yes, tires wet, prepare snow. Here we go. We are ready to go to pit stop and change for wets. As simple as that. Just because we have the stuff is ready. But let's say we are in a very long race. We don't want to do it all on our own. And it would be good to use maybe co-driver. And we can utilize AI for that. So let's say we want to now also ask our co-driver to replace us during the next pit stop. We're closing to that pit stop entry. And we need to do it before we get there, right? So, first of all, that's very loud. We're asking 
our beat crew to be ready for us because we're closing. And we also need to ask them to change the driver. So we're going to race strategy, swap driver, we change it to on. And now, once we'll be getting there. Don't forget our fit limiter, that was a bit early. But missing that point can be very costly, so I would rather have it on earlier. Maybe lose a second, second and a half, even two, rather than losing uh, much, much more during the... because of the penalty. Okay, one thing is, it won't work now because we're in a practice session, so we cannot really do what we are planning to do. But you have the picture of how it works and how it's done. Okay, that was a short tutorial on how to prepare pit strategy and how to change them during the race. Uh, as you can see, it's much, much easier than trying to adjust one pit strategy you may have ready. You need to change the tires to change the pressure. That way, it's already waiting there for you. And also, I show you how to actually uh, prepare for a driver swap with your AI co-driver. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't show that <clears throat> in the pit stop itself because this is a practice, se practice session and uh, the pit crew wasn't there. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I, I hope this video was informative and it will be helpful for you. Try to prepare some strategy and test it yourself. Cheers.